some memories of Oscar Tomset. Um, when I first met Oscar, was at the uh, Brighton Polytechnic in Sussex. Um, a friend of mine called Ian Potts um, told me to go along and see Oscar. He was doing a day of um, for entrances into classes um, at the Polytechnic for. Uh, different groups and uh, Ian told me to go along there tell him who I am and uh, and uh, he sent me along to see Oscar anyway I did exactly um, what Ian had told me I went along to the Polytechnic on a Saturday morning quite early and uh, got in there and there was um, a lot of people in there sitting on seats waiting their turn to see various people um, and uh, Oscar was the one that I was meant to see, which I did. And um, so I went and introduced myself, and uh, in Oscar's uh, normal fashion, he was um, um, quite a, an eccentric person in a way. He, um, he, he all spoke rather loudly, and he said, uh, Oh my goodness, Lawrence, it's so nice to see you. I know all about you, I've seen your work, I went to your exhibition, and um, it's wonderful. Um, and then um, he commenced to say he would like me to attend these various classes, um, which they had at the Faculty of Arts, or whatever they call themselves, and, um, and I enrolled for them. And... Um, and Oscar waved the fee to all of them. And of course, um, you, you had to be selected to go and to be uh, part of those classes. And uh, so I was quite honoured, really. And uh, that was my first encounter of um, Oscar Thompson. And, um, and, uh, and we became great friends thereafter. Um, he, he had known me from an exhibition that I had at the Polytechnic and um, it was round about the same time as Oscar had his exhibition there so we both had exhibitions you know within a short time of each other and that's how he knew me and um, of course my, my exhibition was um, on uh, Regency Brighton and uh, what was there then and um, you know various stars at the time you know, Bob Dylan and Hendrix and things like that, portraits I used to do. And um, so it was quite good. Anyway, I went along to uh, Oscar's classes. I, he, he, he got me to enrol in um, with uh, Norman Clark, uh, a pupil of Walter Sickett. And, uh, and there was very other teachers, which I can't remember to be quite frank. But uh, they, they were all up there, and um, so it was quite good. Anyway, Oscar's class was the one I enjoyed the most and kept with. And it wasn't really to sort of go and learn about painting. It was just to uh, give me the space and somewhere to go to do the work. Because um, I did a picture um, at the time of... The Holocaust, and uh, Ian suggested that I go there and and, and do it, and uh, I'd be left alone to uh, carry on with it without any uh, interruptions from people, which I did. And um, I used to uh, paint and draw the models that Oscar always presented in front of us, and uh, that was quite good. So I was able to do life drawing and painting from there. And uh, some of the funny moments where Oscar used to be quite precise on uh, where the model would be um, on each occasion. And uh, sometimes if, if it was a pose that a model had to keep for, uh, you know, a month or so, um, he'd mark out in chalk where the model was sitting. <laughs> and I can remember <laughs> the... Uh, the, the shock and horror on his face when he came out with a Polaroid camera and commenced to photograph this uh, lady who was modelling um, 
and, and then he realised what he had done. He, he totally forgot that she had no clothes on and in his usual fashion, oh my God, what am I doing? I'm so sorry and, and destroyed the, uh, the photograph instantly because he only took the photograph to, to make a, a note of where she was sitting for the next time she came to uh, be painted. Anyway, that was that. And uh, over the years, uh, my son and I, uh, Tim, we used to go to various auctions and things and we'd see Oscar there bidding on pictures, works of art uh, that we were also interested in. And he would quite often stop the auction and say, oh, I didn't realise you was bidding, Lawrence. Uh, uh, I'll stop so you can have it. And we said, no, 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 you can't do that. So we ended up um, uh, either one of us not getting it because of the very reason that the other one was bidding for it. Um, what else can I say about Oscar? Oh, Oscar's uh, family uh, uh, knew many um, artists. They used to come round to um, their home uh, for lunch or visits or whatever. And uh, I can remember him telling me how Augustus John used to come round for tea or whatever. And uh, it was there was also lots of interesting antidotes like that, which um, you know which are forgotten. They've gone with Oscar, and I doubt that anyone remembers. Um, there was another time Oscar wanted me to take a, a GCSE so that I could um, further my education in art by, you know, going for the, um, uh, you know, PhD or whatever, doctorates in art and all the rest of it. And um, he'd line one up for me up by um, Queen's Park in a, a building there. Um, which I remember to this day, it had a, a lovely um, tree in the garden and um, it was a monkey puzzle tree and there was like uh, several uh, chimpanzees, um, life-size chimpanzee, um, um, what do you call them, sculptures, in bronze uh, around this monkey puzzle tree and um, I used to see them when I was a child, sort of six, you know, five and six, seven, when my grandfather used to take me to the park um, and I used to see them on the way home from school, um, not realising it was part of the um, art college, which I later found out. Anyway, Oscar was quite cross with me because I never turned up on the day for the exam. And quite frankly, I personally couldn't see the point in it for my own benefit because I just wanted to paint and draw. And um, it seems that there's a lot of um, emphasis put on, unless you've got a doctorate in art, you can't be an artist. So um, how these people did it, I do not know. Um, you know, you can't be an artist for what you do or how you do it. You have to have all these bits of paper. Well, as we know, uh, quite a few people scrape through without those bits of paper and have become quite well-known artists. So I explained that to Oscar and uh, it was all understood. Um, I had lots of things to tell about Oscar and I've forgotten. But it, another thing, the picture that you can see behind me, um, I, I saw that um, at the Polytechnic and um, it was in the exhibition. And um, I was quite struck that Oscar had put a label um, by the side of it explaining how his wife uh, had an affair and uh, they'd broken up and he was quite distraught about it. And, um, you know, at the time I couldn't quite understand what it had to do with the picture or why he'd put it there. And, um, you know, it will be explained, I'm sure, um, by others. And, um, but it was the painting that I was interested in and the method of framing. Oscar framed his pictures in a most unusual way and it had stuck with me and I've tried to carry it on that emphasis of framing with most of the pictures I do um, because framing is quite an integral part of a painting. 
and uh, if it's not done correctly in the manner that it's supposed to be then you can't pull that painting off and obviously now a lot of people don't bother with frames but you know they're missing a trick it's all part of the artwork and uh, you know there we have it um, there's, I can't add any more um, I'm sure I'm going to come up with lots of stuff about Oscar um, but that's all I've got for now oh um, yeah that's it so thank you